Sermorlin is an active biological analog of growth hormone releasing hormone, GHRH, that is produced by the human brain to stimulate production and release of growth hormone by the pituitary gland. During youth, ample amounts of GHRH are created so that the pituitary can provide the body with sufficient growth hormone to sustain health, vitality, and otherwise normal aspects of form and function. However, during aging, GHRH declines, causing reduced production and secretion of pituitary HGH. Sermorlin is the acetate salt of an imitated synthetic amino acid polypeptide, consisting of the first 29 of 44 amino acids of naturally occurring human growth hormone releasing hormone, GHRH, in the body. Sermorlin acetate is the last of the hypothalamic releasing hormones to be identified and characterized and represents the shortest fragment of GHRH known to possess the full biological activity of the parent hormone known as human growth hormone releasing hormone, GHH. In contrast to increased growth hormone levels by the injection of biosynthetic or bioidentical human growth hormone, GHRH injections increase plasma growth hormone concentrations in patients with idiopathic growth hormone deficiency by directly stimulating the pituitary gland to release natural human growth hormone. Sermorlin acetate for injection, GHRH, is similar to natural GHRH concerning its ability to stimulate HGH secretions in humans. GHRH for injection has been useful in the treatment of growth hormone deficiency in children. The clinic anticipates that GHRH will also be helpful in the treatment of adult growth hormone deficiency because it has been useful in the treatment of children, and because HGH has already proven itself useful in cases of adult growth hormone deficiency. The GHRH used by the clinic has been studied for 12 years in more than 70 clinical trials and over 2,600 child patients, totaling more than 485 patient years of treatment. Growth hormone releasing hormone for injection was approved for use in children by the FDA in 1997 and became available to the clinic in 1998. It is an experimental clinic treatment with regards to adult patients who are prescribed about half the dose of a small child. Prior clinic approval is required to participate in the adult clinical trial program conducted by the clinic. This therapy has excellent potential for adults who have a growth hormone deficiency and seek to reverse the effects of aging or treat a medical disorder. A patient who is unsatisfied with the results obtained through GHGH therapy may elect to be addressed after that with HGH replacement therapy or vice versa. Typically, each bottle of Sermorlin, we have you put three cc's or three milliliters of the bacteriostatic water into it. This is done by tilting the container to a 45 degree angle and allowing the water to drip in from the needle slowly. So there is no foaming. Contact us for, this, for the specific protocol for mixing the bacteriostatic water with the Sermorlin white powder to create a clear liquid Sermorlin which is used for injecting. Doing a dose of 300 micrograms a night, you would pull 30 on the insulin needle. This dose would make one bottle last 10 days. Thus, it would take three bottles to last one month. Doing a dose of 200 micrograms a night, you would pull 20 on the insulin needle. This dose would last 15 days, and thus it would take two bottles to last one month. If you liked this video and found it informative, please click the link below in the description to learn more about Sir Moreland Acetate Therapy.